set in the picturesque setting of the Kent countryside, Spar will make a return to the Spotted Dog Inn. Spotted Dog is a charming 15th century country inn situated deep within the Kent countryside. Built in the 1460s, this isolated inn used to be several separate cottages, but is now a very welcoming restaurant and bar, and now under new management. Our previous visit in 2009 had revealed some interesting information, including a strong male presence in the bar area, which initially prompted our first investigation here. Okay, we returned to the Spotted Dog Inn we did here um, in 2009. We've just come along to see if we can actually pick up on the same stuff that Alan picked up on last time. We'll do a few experiments, just see what happens. It's not a late one, um, but it's nice to come back to a place you've been to before. This place is actually under new management and they're still very eager for us to uh, investigate here, so that's really cool. Uh, thanks uh, Nick and Cheryl. So yeah, hopefully you join us and see what happens. We're in the 15th century Spotted Dog in Kent. What do you think so far? Beautiful. Can't wait to start the investigation. Joining Alan, Patricia, Kat and myself this evening is guest Lorna. And whilst we wait for the customers to leave, Alan was already picking up on some of the former inhabitants from last time. You know, we kept getting this man from the first day we came in, this man here, and we knew that he was wearing black. I didn't know exactly what it was. I knew it had weird shoulders. I just couldn't figure out what it was. Um, and Carl seemed to think it was like a Southwester type. Mm. And I, I couldn't say about that. But what I actually get more now with him is that um, I, from from the picture I've been getting since we've been here today, he's got a moustache, he's got his hair in a ponytail. Um, and this man is definitely from uh, at least a couple of hundred years ago. And he is dressed in black. Before I met Spiral, um, me and Alan used to come to this pub here and we had a meal once, my family. And I always got drawn to this particular area here and I don't know why, whether or not it's because it is a small little cosy place, but I always felt there was presence um, here and I couldn't never sort of explain it. The purpose of this evening was to see if any more information could complement what Alan had picked up before as we start the investigation in the kitchen area. Just see if this runs into here. What I'm actually getting coming through there again is a young girl. Not a very small child. Um, possibly about between 8 and 11, so sort of that sort of age, you know? Blonde hair, long hair, for some reason it is pinned back, as if they could put something on the back like a, so it's hanging long like a ponytail, but I think this might be the child that we got upstairs before. And I think that's the impression that we got here, it's her, I think it's her. I think we picked her up in the bar before this end. So I have no idea why, because I'm not actually picking up anything specifically, but it is very heady when you walk into here. You can feel the change. It's very, very heady. If you walk into that area especially, you can feel it getting very, very uh, almost depressive. You know? The only thing I've got is a lump in my throat and I feel sick, but that's because I think I have an aversion to grease smells, but I don't know. It well, I know, there's, there's been a definite change. Very mm. heavy, depressive I atmosphere really as you come it, through just... to here. You can feel it, it's like, it's really, really pushing mm. heavy against you. Oh. So we'll go, we'll go back through to the, um, 
to the lounge, to the bar area. As I, come, as I come through here, it's definitely getting lighter again. You can feel it as you come away from there through here, and the atmosphere is becoming lighter again. Also, what is quite strong is the little girl again. As you come through here, mm -hmm. it's the sense of that little girl around. The girl, really? The girl, yeah. I mean, I just, it, it was just at one little stage, I think, yeah. in the last investigation that I picked her up, I think, sitting that side in the bar. But I really got a, a strong impression of her tonight around us, you know? I'm moving around. I've just worked out. <clears throat> Um, I've never liked going to the toilets here for some particular mm -hmm. reason. And I've just worked out the place where Alan felt it most was connected to the side of the toilets. So I don't know whether or not it might be a good idea also to go and have a look outside in the courtyard as well. We moved to the stairway leading from the bar where Alan had previously sensed an accident at the foot of the stairs. The trouble is, you see, that because I've been here before, I know what I got on here before and that just hits me as soon as I walk through here so that could be because it's there um, but I get I still get the same thing as I got before I get this this man there at the top just to that side I get him it's like he's suddenly holding his chest and then he claps and comes down these stairs and he's twisted up at the bottom of these stairs. We head upstairs into the inn's living areas. You step through into this change again. It's like a change of atmosphere again when you walk. As you walk through there, you can feel that change. And I think I get that, if, if I remember, I think I'm getting that same thing again, that feeling that it's a very sort of unsettled feeling, you know. Um, I think we described it before as um, the sort of place that if you spend a lot of time in, you could start arguing and also get a sense of somebody here standing at this doorway and watching us. Just then, for a moment, it was like uh, there was someone standing there. You can you can understand why this was separate parts of buildings, long because the the atmosphere changes yeah. as you come through. You can feel yeah. the changes, can't you? Yeah, it's, it's colder this, in here. This room well, it's not it's not about the temperature. It's, it's about it's the colder. atmosphere. It's about the yeah. it, it changes as you come through. Yeah the areas in this yeah, place, definitely. you know. This is very low ceiling as well. I don't know if that has something to do with... What makes, you think, what makes you think it's low? <laughs> <laughs> because we're short and it's near <laughs> our high. <laughs> we turn the lights off as we stay for a time on the upper floors. You know, this, uh, this hasn't changed from that point. Like I say, that what we picked up here before was, was to do with children up here and a lot of happiness. Yeah. And like I say, this is continuing. Looking at this room, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that what you picked up last time? Was the children? Yes, yeah, it, it was empty rooms. So. Oh right, now but, there's children back in yeah. it again. Well, you can see why probably yeah. it's just replaying. You know, yeah. for centuries probably these are ideal rooms for small children, aren't they? And uh, obviously it was what they were used for before. Yeah. The top floor. Such a beautiful place. Mm. They've done a really good job on this. Yeah, they have. Up here before, actually it's quite calm at the moment, probably to do with you change the atmosphere a bit, but up here before was where we got the, um, like somebody being held by yeah, the throat. Yeah, I remember you saying, yeah. And, and a hand over her mouth. Yeah. And, um, but it all seems very calm at the moment. It seems very, it's, it's lovely actually, it's a nice feel. Oh, good. Yeah, I the mean, people that come in and say they feel stuff, it's always that end. Yeah, no, that's in there. Yeah. Ever since the first meeting, we walked in here, and, and while we were sitting there, in the course of sitting there tonight, or late afternoon when we got here, um, he was in around us, you could feel him around us, and I mean, it's just so strong there. Mm. That's where the glass <coughs> broke, apparently. Yeah. 
Yeah, that came off the top shelf. Well, let's hope he's a little bit active tonight because we'll do some work down there. We'll work our way down yeah. now so that gives you any space you need to use up here. We'll be able to. Oh, God. Yeah. These are those stairs again, aren't they? Yeah. But funny enough, like I say, it, it, it wasn't from up here. It was from more or less that first yeah, turn. Yeah. Mm. This is where the door, this door here is where I'll fit it shut. Yeah. You can feel that change again as you're coming towards it. The energy changes again. It's, it's quite a, a unique building because it's, it is separate identities, mm. you know, put together. And each seems to, each part seems to have its own identity and its own visitors and residents, put it that way. Um, which is quite interesting, it's quite unusual. So just move down onto the middle floor, do a little quick vigil here and then we're going to uh, go down to the bar area to see what we pick up there. But it definitely affects the amount of activity, I think, if people are living in them all mm. the time, you know, 24 hours a day. I mean, they experience odd things happening, but I think if this was all empty, locked up empty, then you would get a lot more activity when you actually come into the place, if you can understand mm. that. Yeah, I couldn't distinguish, but there's just so much creaking. And yeah, there is. There is, isn't there? <clears throat> Please, last time. And you've got the... That's in the next turn, um, in the kitchen there. Yeah. Okay, we're back down in the bar area. We're going to do a little bit of glasswork on the table and to see if um, we can coach out the little girl. I've got them back. Well, we're not, it's not worth putting them out unless we're getting a reaction. It's already, you know. what, please, if there's anyone around, especially the little girl that I was picking up last time and earlier, if you're around us, do you want to come in and play? Do you want to move this glass? Do you want to talk to us? I don't know, that's, I don't think that's been... Yeah, it's not, it's doing it on its own. Yeah, it's not, I'm not pushing it. The third one would be better, I think, because it... What, the little girl? <coughs> I can feel someone, I'm not sure who, but I can feel someone. Our night of the spotted dog came to a close, and it had been a privilege once again to investigate this historic property. Although quiet with regard to any potential activity, it was interesting to see Alan's further reading of the place, which complements Yin's rich history.